I'm Ian Copland, the principal of the Woden School in the ACT. Um, the Woden School is a, a secondary school from year 7 to 12 um, for students with intellectual disability and or autism. This school, uh, while it's a specialist school, is really a high school like any other high school in, in the country and we wanted to ensure that our students get the same opportunities and the same chances to, to study and understand uh, the broader world and the, the Australian curriculum gave us that, uh, that passage into that learning. What we obviously need to do, however, is, is um, adapt the Australian curriculum as, to meet the needs of all of our students. Our fundamental starting point is saying, let's look at the, the content that's, that's relevant for them in the year level that they're at. So a year nine student in, in history, in English, in science, have a look at the year nine content there and see whether that's appropriate, relevant and accessible to those students. And if not, then make some decisions about how, that, how we might address that. We start with the 20 week plans and the 20 week plans allowed, a, allowed the teacher to have a clear understanding how the semester is going to look like. Now because all of our classrooms are streamed as well according to ability, but even in, in each of those classrooms there is a, um, a, different, a different abilities for different students. So what we do, we, we use the general capabilities to um, differentiate the learning outcomes of each one of our students. Um, so even though in our planning, we can have up to 15, 20 outcomes. We're only going to pick for reporting, for assessment, only four of those outcomes. And those outcomes are going to be completely individualized for each one of our students in the classroom. Of course, we have to make it relevant for our students. And if it's not relevant, it's not significant, and then it becomes just another thing that they heard somewhere. Um, but when we make those connections and we work towards those connections, is where the, our students actually, it's enriching for our students. And they can then have adult conversations at home with their parents, with their friends. Uh, I remember teaching the Vikings at one of the, in one of the semesters. And um, so the parent came and talked to me later on and says to me, oh, you know, I was so impressed because my son, we were watching this show and then suddenly he started talking about all this different uh, content in the movie and where did they live and what did they use to travel and uh, the, the, the outfits they were wearing, what were they made of, uh, the food that they were eating. So those are the kind of things that when they they are learning here at school, then they, are get, they get transferred in a day-to-day -day situation in the living room with their parents and their families. And I think that's kind of a wonderful. Um, we do plan in teams. It, every class in the school is different. Every individual student in the school is different. So um, there's a lot of collaboration, talking between teachers who teach the same student and the LSAs as well, um, all of our support staff, that we're all very aware of what each child, where they're at, what they need, you know, what they need to achieve the, to their potential. Um, so if we're planning something, we also like to collaborate it in a way that keeps it consistent. The Australian curriculum is fully embedded in, in the, the way that this school operates. Um, and the effect of that has been uh, that teachers are sure about what they, they can teach. Uh, they have a great resource to access. Uh, to develop their programs. Parents have a great understanding of, uh, of what is being taught in classes um, because we, we send home the unit outlines with, with the outcomes um, all described. And parents feel that their students are getting a real high school education.